everyone, Richard here, and today we're going to be taking another look at the special enemy that has arguably gone through the most dramatic changes since Payday 2's launch back in 2013, which is none other than the Bulldozer. The Bulldozer is a very threatening enemy without a good understanding of his weaknesses, strengths, and overall behavior. He possesses massive amounts of health and a very small weak spot, meaning takedowns against him can be very dangerous if unprepared. To boot, they are often equipped with high damage weapons ranging from the MP5 and Reinfeld to the KSP light machine gun and the infamous minigun. The AI for bulldozers is quite interesting as they will often not immediately engage the player upon spawning, however they do have some very obvious vocal cues. Generally they will order other law enforcement to step aside and taunt you and your fellow heisters from afar. Technically, there are 11 different variants of the Bulldozer featured in game, all with some unique features mostly revolving around their weaponry. But before we discuss that, let's talk about the health and durability of Dozers in greater detail. First of all, Bulldozers do not receive headshot damage normally, with their headshot multiplier only being applied after both the faceplate and visor have been destroyed. Regardless of difficulty, the metal faceplate will have 150 health and the face shield or visor will have 160 health, making them relatively easy to destroy. The overall health of a bulldozer, excluding the minigun dozer, will range starting at 2000 on normal and hard, moving up to 4000 on very hard, 6000 on overkill, 12000 on mayhem and deathwish, and 24000 on death sentence. Headshot multipliers function a bit different in logic, starting low and increasing, then decreasing again towards the higher difficulties. Normal and hard will have a 5x multiplier, very hard a 10x multiplier, overkill a 15x, mayhem a 10x, and death wish and death sentence a 7.5x. All dozers, except the headless titan dozer, will take an additional 10% damage from explosives. But unfortunately, explosives cannot cause headshot damage. The minigun bulldozer will have the same headshot multipliers as all other dozer variants, however on death wish and death sentence will receive double the HP, giving them 24,000 and 48,000 health respectively. Thankfully, despite dozer's incredible tankiness, they are limited in spawn rate, maxing out on 2 per map, not including map specific spawns like on Bank Heist and the Hoxton Breakout. For a Medic Dozer to spawn, in addition to the 2 Dozer limit, it also must not exceed the Medic limit which is a maximum of 3. Moving on to the Dozer variants, the first and most common variant is the Green Bulldozer. Sporting green EOD armor and a Reinfeld shotgun, he is capable of dealing a large amount of burst damage, especially to low level players, but his slow fire rate leaves him all but helpless against a player using a dodge build. Next up, the Black Dozer, also known as a Kill Dozer, carries the much more lethal Sega Shotgun, with an improved fire rate compared to the green variant. Regardless of difficulty, there is a 50% chance a Bulldozer spawn will be a Black Dozer. An important thing to consider is that he does fire in bursts, slightly reducing the effectiveness of dodge. However, it is still a viable approach to dealing with them one on one. The next variant, the Skull Dozer, significantly steps up the damage output as he carries with him the KSP LMG, capable of engaging players at much longer ranges than his two previous counterparts. His long range and quicker fire rate make him much harder to counter by both dodge and armor users, requiring either a quick takedown or good teamwork to effectively neutralize. The fourth variant is merely a cosmetic change. The Zeal Force Dozer is the death sentence skin for either the green, black, or skull dozer, and can spawn either with the Reinfeld, Sega, or KSP. Zeal Dozers use the same health and headshot stats mentioned earlier, but definitely look more menacing, looking more like a stealth aircraft than a human clad in armor. The most feared variant of the Dozer, the Minigun Dozer, while only appearing on Deathwish and Death Sentence, is a force to be reckoned with. With a blistering rate of fire and incredible range, he will make short work of any player not prepared to deal with him. While he may be far less mobile than the other Dozer variants, 
his reloads come far less frequently and gives you less opportunity to engage him safely. The Minigun Dozer may be the most feared of the Dozer variants, but the Medic Dozer is arguably the most annoying. Being able to absorb much more punishment compared to a normal Medic and being able to constantly resurrect fallen police units. Despite only being seen in Crime Sprees and on the Death Wish difficulty, a Medic Dozer paired with a Minigun Dozer will certainly give your team some trouble. Thankfully, Medic Dozers sport only the far less powerful Compact 5. The next variant is again only a cosmetic change. The Russian Reaper Dozer is a stand-in for the American Bulldozer on the Boiling Point Heist, sporting an RPK in lieu of the KSP, but otherwise functioning the same. The final variants are the Headless Dozers, the Regular, and the Headless Titan Dozer. Technically, the Titan Dozer is the only variant available in-game via mutators or in the Halloween-themed heists. Sporting a rear-mounted shield protecting them from being outmaneuvered, the Titan Dozers lack a head and therefore headshots, making the Thanatos a very tempting option for a takedown. Thankfully, their health is capped at 12,000, even on death sentence, making them a little bit more forgiving for those who encounter them. Now that we have an idea of what bulldozers we will face and relative health and headshot multipliers are, we can begin to discuss strategy. For newer players, bulldozers present a serious threat as they are less intuitive to fight compared to other enemy units. In addition, you may lack the proper weapons, modifications, or both to effectively deal with said threat. As a general rule, having a way out of the engagement is always smart. Even skilled players with the best builds can still miss an attack, forget to reload, or miscalculate the amount of enemies in the area. Either way, being able to exit the immediate area, or at least hide behind some cover, makes a world of difference, as bulldozers, in conjunction with supporting units, can quickly overwhelm your defenses, whether they be dodge, armor, or something in between. If possible, try to isolate a bulldozer, whether it be by killing the supporting police units around him or just by throwing a stun grenade. This will allow you to focus on the dozer itself and prevent you from receiving damage from multiple sources. Another crucial tip that sometimes even I forget is to always kill nearby medics. Nothing is more frustrating than landing a clean kill, only to realize the dozer is back up and ready to fight thanks to a medic standing 6 inches behind him. Also, if you don't have to kill a dozer because he's far away, not intersecting with your route of travel, etc., you don't have to kill it. Remember, there can only be two bulldozers, and sometimes it's better to deal with two Reinfeld dozers far away than two black or skull dozers close by. Remember that converted law enforcement from the Joker skill, while dealing pretty mediocre damage to the bulldozer, can act as a very useful and very tanky distraction and give you plenty of time for a takedown. For weapon selection, there are actually quite a few effective options, both in terms of mitigation and in raw killing potential against dozers. Assault rifles are an adequate option and will largely depend on the specific model being used. Typically, higher fire rate rifles will fare better than their more sluggish counterparts. This makes semi-automatic rifles like the Gallant a bit finicky to use, considering the hitboxes for the dozer can be inconsistent. Some machine guns, both akimbo and single wield, are one of the most popular choices as they generally possess a high fire rate and good damage. Weapons like the Spec Ops, Heather, and Mark 10 are versatile as well, being able to be kitted out for both low concealment critical hit builds and regular builds as well. Getting close may be mandatory for some SMGs and more so for the akimbos due to their increased recoil and reduced precision. Still, the speed at which a pair of SMGs can rip through a bulldozer shouldn't be underestimated. Pistols can be somewhat of a mixed bag, with some like the Strike 18C being particularly useful, especially paired with critical hits and trigger happy. Others can be a little less reliable, especially the slow firing, high damage pistols, as a single missed shot can be much less forgiving than with other handguns. The akimbo strikes are actually pretty hilarious when fighting a dozer, melting their armor and health in a split second, even on the higher difficulties. If you're a good shot and decent at tracking moving targets, higher damage pistols may give you a similar experience, albeit from a safer range. 
Light machine guns function a bit similar to the SMGs, although with larger magazines and worse reload speeds, higher recoil, and reduced accuracy. Still from a mounted position, much of this can be ignored and can make LMGs quite effective at putting down several bulldozers without needing a reload. More so than with other weapons, I would highly suggest topping off your magazine before moving to engage, as getting caught with an empty mag within arm's reach of most bulldozers will not likely end well for you. Shotguns are probably the least effective weapons at straight killing bulldozers due to their imprecise nature. However, an explosive shotgun can quickly strip the bulldozer of its precious armored protection in short order. If you must use a shotgun, try to get as close as you can to avoid any preventable misses. Sniper rifles are a mixed bag. Typically, they are decent at finishing off a wounded bulldozer or at least one with an exposed face, especially with the high value target skill aced. However, due to the janky AI for the dozers, they tend to face away from you unless they are actively engaged, meaning you may have trouble landing a shot to the face. The Thanatos is probably the best anti-special sniper rifle, especially on the higher difficulties, being able to reliably put down a minigun dozer with a pair of headshots. The most inconsistent category by far is the special weapons, largely due to the fact that this category is a mix of different weapon types, ranging from grenade launchers to medieval crossbows. Grenade launchers actually aren't that useless against dozers, being able to strip away their armor without any regard for accuracy, and can lead to a quick takedown if followed up with another weapon. The HRL-7 on the other hand can kill dozers up to Deathwish with a single rocket assuming the dozer receives full damage. Still, taking this is a serious investment and prevents you from taking a more flexible secondary like an SMG or pistol. The Commando 101 may be a good compromise, requiring two rockets on Mayhem and Deathwish and three on Death Sentence, but overall being a much more tactical weapon by comparison. Flamethrowers and flame grenades, while dealing damage over time, don't really do enough to bring a dozer down in a reasonable amount of time on Deathwish and Death Sentence. They can make it more vulnerable and reduce the number of headshots required for a kill. Crossbows and bows aren't bad options if they're a part of your build due to their high base damage. However, they do require some practice to use properly, as time to target must be taken into account at any sort of range. For the best results, use a weaker weapon or a teammate to expose the dozer's face shield and let loose an arrow. Overall, the light crossbow is the weakest of the bunch despite it being a little bit more forgiving with missed shots. The minigun and microgun fall into a similar caveat as the LMGs, however a bit more divergent from the SMG category with lower per shot damage and pretty terrible accuracy past a few meters. Still it's hard to argue with a minigun at point blank range. For throwables, most explosive options are acceptable for clearing nearby units and removing the faceplate or visor, dealing only modest damage to the dozer himself. Stun grenades, while not capable of stunning the dozer, can stun supporting units, leaving him vulnerable. Javelins are capable of instantly killing any dozer except the minigun variant with the low blow skill or a successful headshot making them extremely effective for dodge builds or for those with good aim. Using them does take a bit of practice, but the ability to reclaim them does boost their utility overall. Shuriken's high damage over time can be very useful for softening up a dozer, however using them to take down a full strength one is far from efficient. The throwable knives and axes are also useful, however fall just shy of being able to instantly kill a bulldozer on Mayhem requiring a follow-up throw or a few rounds to finish them off. Trip mines from the Technician Tree are also a good method for dealing with bulldozers, or at the very least, severely wounding them. ECM Overdrive is also capable of stunning bulldozers and leaving them vulnerable to follow-up attacks, a fairly unique ability considering how resistant bulldozers are to stunning effects. As for skill suggestions, using high value target or low blow, are both effective ways of increasing damage against bulldozers. Often dodge is a very efficient way to deal with a dozer, as their high damage will quickly shred even the heaviest of player armor. Skills that improve accuracy and stability are also helpful, as precision is key for hitting the bulldozer's head. 
If your ammo economy can spare it, feel free to fire a few pot shots at the dozer from range, softening it up before it becomes a serious threat. On Death Sentence, Swan Song is often used to bring down bulldozers in less than ideal circumstances, since going down is often considered to be par for the course. In conclusion, dozers can pose a serious threat to a team not prepared to face them, not only being able to absorb tons of damage, but also being able to reciprocate. Coordinate with your team, and make sure you have the right tool for the job. Otherwise, going down at the hands of a dozer will only drag your teammates into the engagement, forcing their hand and possibly putting them at unnecessary risk. There is no shame in a tactical retreat either. It's much safer to fall back, let your armor recharge, and re-engage than to risk going down because you forgot to reload or missed a javelin throw. Thank you very much for watching. I know I didn't have a chance to cover every aspect of dealing with dozers, so feel free to leave some of your own tips in the comment section below. Also feel free to check out my social media links in the description and my Patreon page linked at the end of this video. Join me next time when we take a look at the cloaker. But until then, happy hunting.